to say goodbye to the Big Blue Barn and make our way to Charlotte, North Carolina. There we would stay with none other than Ben Thomas Taylor, or more commonly referred to as Ben Tom Tay. I was really excited to be reunited with him as it had been several months since the last time we saw each other, and well, the last time I had seen him, that happened. It didn't take long to discover that Ben's dad, Doug, is as much of a character to get to know as Ben is. about Ben's accident is that he wasn't even supposed to be able to walk on it yet, but yet, there we were, deciding to go for a skate in downtown Charlotte. Sarah managed to draw the attention of another skater by doing some tricks. <laughs> hey. On another day, we went back out to downtown Charlotte with Ben and his dad to do outreach to the homeless. This is something that they're very passionate about doing as they practice putting compassion in action with those that are often neglected by society. The next day, Ben wanted to take us to the Billy Graham Library. Christ called you to him, but he sends you back into the world to live as a shining witness to bear your cross even if it means unpopularity. I thought it was really interesting to get a greater look into the life of such an influential man that believes so deeply in sharing God's message with the world. It truly inspires me to have that same heart. Later that night, we went downtown again to do evangelism and hand out hot chocolate and hand warmers to people on the streets. After leaving Charlotte, we had a few days in Black Mountain. There we got to stay with a really great community. This was also one of the first places World Race America stayed when beginning this endeavor, and so it was cool how they were able to see it come around full circle. Our stay at Black Mountain went pretty quickly, but I enjoyed the time we got to have there, and all the new friends that I made. It never ceases to amaze me all the people that God has allowed me to meet along the way. There was a time in my early walk with Christ that I didn't feel as if I had much of a community supporting me. I spent a lot of time praying for friends that would be a good influence and point me to God. It's crazy to think how God has answered that prayer in much bigger fashion than I could have ever hoped for. 